Hi, my name is Kelly and I've been wearing a human hair topper now for 11 years and I am going to talk with you about hair toppers for people that have lost their hair due to cancer. I lost my hair due to having radiation and uh, it was really hard at first because one of the things that you know when you're having radiation and you lose your hair that way, it's not coming back. So you know that whatever alternative you use, it's going to be something that's going to be that you're going to use for a long time, forever. I had a tremendous amount of support when I was in the hospital. Uh, they offered ideas about what I could do with my hair. Um, and one of them was uh, wearing a wig. And I purchased a wig um, in a salon that was within the hospital. The first time I put it on, it was really uncomfortable. It didn't feel natural. I actually tried to wear it. I tried for a few months to try and get used to this and 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 wear it and get comfortable with it, but it never looked natural. The hair was not real, it was synthetic, and, um, and it was really uncomfortable on my head. It wasn't a good fit on my head. So I actually went back to the hospital and I told them that I, I really could not wear this and if they had any other suggestions for me. Uh, and they told me about 10 Newbury Street Salon and that um, Pat, a woman that owned the salon, had some other alternatives that she could speak with me about. So I went and spoke with Pat about what other alternatives I could use for a hairpiece. Pat showed me a hair topper and, um, and when I first saw it, she didn't she said to me, this is, this is what you really need. So it was not a wig, it was a topper. So it's not a full wig. And I saw the clips and I had a thin, thin layer of hair on the top. And I, I wasn't really convinced that that would stay on my head. And um, Pat put it on my he head and clipped it in. And I was actually shocked that it fit right into my hair and stayed on my head. And it was human hair. and. It felt really good on my head. It felt like it mixed with my regular hair. It looked natural. And I was pretty impressed right away. If I were to do anything differently, I think that I would have asked a lot more questions when I was at the hospital because they knew about the about Pat and the salon on 10 Newbury and that she had toppers. Uh, they had that information and I think that I I didn't know that at the time. So I think it's it's great for people to get this information so that they know there's more alternatives than a synthetic wig. That there's all kinds of wigs out there that are with natural human hair that look so real and that they clip into your head and that they're not going to fall off, that they look like your hair. And um, I wish that I had known that earlier and that I had asked more questions. So I think that that's probably one of the most important things because I think they would have given me much more alternatives if I had asked more questions. I think that the hospitals try really hard to help you to feel more like yourself. I think that they um, they provide a lot of different supports and um, and I think they do a good job at that. And I, this was 11 years ago when I was told about the synthetic wig. I am hoping that uh, a lot more information is out now about the toppers and the natural hair um, or the human hair. Uh, so I think that um, I think that now, and this is why I'm doing this right now, this is why I'm talking to you, because it's wonderful, and if you can go straight to this step and find out how, how great it is, I think that that's important. Thinking back on when I first got it, and um, and you think through, oh, okay, this is, this is not going to be right for me, oh, maybe there's too much hair here. Um, I don't think I can get used to this. I do want to remind you, because I think this is so important, that because when you first put these toppers on, it, it does feel like too much hair initially. And I think that it's so important to keep wearing it and allow yourself to wear it and allow yourself to listen to what people are saying to you that that it does look natural and allow them, allow yourself to hear that because 
once you get used to it, and after so much time, you, you'll, you'll be completely used to it, you will be so happy that you made this choice. When I think back at how I felt when this first happened, and it was, it was really difficult. Um, you lose your hair, you don't feel the same. You go through sadness, you feel angry, and I think that the most important thing to know is that it's not gonna stay like that. There are uh, solutions. And when you find that solution, you feel a thousand times better. You're back to feeling like your confident, happy self again. So if you are going through a difficult time and you're experiencing hair loss due to cancer, know that there is a solution. Know that it is gonna get better. You can go to DanielElaine.com and book a consultation with their stylist or find a location that's closest to you.